What's up? You got a new candle. I burned it out in the last one, I believe. I didn't go live last weekend. I want to apologize. Or not even apologize. Like, I'm not sorry. Look, the thing is, is that I have a real life, you know? And so I was busy doing some stuff um, for a buddy of mine had a had a bachelor party. So, you know, kind of kind of went and did that. And I figured I just owe you guys one. Um, I know I'm... I, I, Somebody had asked last time for me to do some kind of like <clears throat> live singing thing because this is a live if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time because I have a music video shoot afterwards, but I'm going to get into it and show you guys how I made the beat for I Care and Consistent uh, because I got I, obviously I owe you guys one. Uh, so let's just go in order. We're going to start with Consistent. That came out two weeks ago. And then we'll go with I Care, which just came out last Tuesday. This one, and, and which is perfect because both of these songs are like one of them started with the sample and one of them started like I actually wrote in the notes and stuff like that. So you kind of see the difference and that it's okay to do both. You know what I mean? If anybody says otherwise, fuck them. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and mute this. Yeah. So with this one, it started with. This little sample right here. Although there was two versions of it. There was this one and then there was the one on... Like this, you can... There's more... Is That's too busy to be an actual sample. So then they had one, um, which I at the very end there, I kind of cut it. And then I faded in, or yeah, speed it up in. And then the actual one uh, sounds like this, the one that I used for the SS song. Which, I took that same one, and I sped it up, I believe, by double. But it wasn't the, the one for the intro anyway. It was the one that's for the, uh, typically for the sample of the song. The one that you heard a second ago, though, at the very beginning, is like, specifically for starting the song. Apparently people do that. Whatever. I just took both, and I was like, let me try them. Anyway, so yeah. Um... And that's just kind of ways sometimes you can be creative if you want, if you really like a sample and you want to use that one, you're dead set on that one, but you want like this one is a little slow and you want a faster paced song, speed it up. I mean, you know, every, every dog can do it. So just kind of do whatever your heart pleases and just mess with the EQ if it gets kind of weird and muddy and you'll be able to figure it out. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, what I do a lot of times though is uh after i do that i usually put it like in a, a midi and then so i can get it however i want it to sound if i want to chop it up sample it that way and then whenever it's done i bounce it so it's got this solid whatever going on and then at that point like i'll spread it out and shit like that so um these are the sounds that i use as a snare let me turn it up that's the hi-hat here's a perk That's that's uh, the 808. I didn't I didn't use any kicks this time because the 808 provided enough of a bounce. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, essentially this one I kept it relatively simple in terms of the snare. I just kept it. It was pretty much on uh, every third or whatever. So if we're playing the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn all this off. So if you're playing the sample right here. pretty much it i thought i wanted something in terms of why i chose that one i just wanted something that can bite through it and whatever so that's what i did um then the hi-hats i you know just like normal I, i've been through this a million times that i always go for snare for the metronome and then hi-hat to drive the song now you'll see that the, the pattern for this one's not like normal i always kind of mix it up a little bit don't be too boring you know what i'm saying so It wasn't crazy, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not Mr. Like, you know, I'm not some kind of like Mozart of producing beats or something. Just put something, if you feel it's too boring and it's your song, then spice it up a little bit. Anyway, so uh, 
yeah, uh, putting that together with the snare and the sample. And it's just that over and over again. Um, and then for the perk, I just kind of added this like a, a suit just with the sample. Why well, I kind of based that one off of the uh, off of the snare, but I did it in context when I was making. I mean, that's it. Aside from that, the main thing that I did for this one was I knew ahead of time that I wanted the 808 to be like driving this song, but I couldn't. I don't know how other people might be able to do it, but I didn't know how to get an 808 to drive um, without the rest of the stuff being there so uh rest, rest of the the percussion so that i set it all up anyway knowing that i was going to do something like this anyway and then i just kind of i'll solo it for you real quick and show you how it sounds with just a uh, sample <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that but i'm assuming you can um at least partially right um yeah i just but i didn't know how that was going to fit in context with like the percussion so i had to set i couldn't really hear it in my head i knew kind of that i wanted it to drive the song but i, I couldn't really hear it without the rest of the instruments there so i did that and then i, I ended with the 808 the way i knew i was going to have it but what i did was like on this one in particular i had my phone and i just kind of went on the little thing uh little audio recording memo things and I like recorded the, uh, whatever you call it, you know, the, the melody line of, I guess the bass line in this case of the 808s. And then I put everything else there and sit, saw if it worked. There was a couple things that didn't fit and then I fixed them. But yeah, so that's really it. And then, so the full thing in context. Is Every day with a piece of I mean, so that's pretty, pretty it, pretty much it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing the rappers dirty. Yeah, I know I'm dirty, bro. It's dirty. Um, I feel like my face is kind of dirty. I need to go get a haircut. Look, this shit's like getting overgrown and whatnot. So the second song, the one that we, uh, that actually I'm supposed to be doing this week. I care. I put a little more into that one because there was a melody going on in my head all week, and I don't know where it came from or why, and I don't really care. Uh, I just know, well, I guess I do care, right? I care. But I did, uh, I did know that, uh, like generally what I wanted, it was like mainly chords with a little bit of, you know, change at the, on the higher end of the chords. Um, so I did end up playing it, but I only played it with like two at a time cause I had the keyboard and so I can't play like a whole range, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's what I did. Um, but look, let's go up and go a little bit higher. Yeah, this is where I think this is like the range it was in. It was like like this kind of area. That's not the chords that I played. But anyway, so I wrote in two. I did like the, the two chords, I think the fifth. And then I went in and actually penciled in the rest. Um, and I ended up with something like this. Not something, but exactly this. So what I do a lot of times when I have something in my head is I'll... Uh, turn on the metronome itself and just kind of like listen to it by itself and then I'll slow down or you know whatever the tempo or speed it up until I got to the point where I want it to be and then at that point I'll go and actually like um, then I'll you know I'll actually pencil or whatever if I use a sample if I pencil something in or if I play, type it in this case I kind of did a combination of the two um, Make sure that it looks good, uh, that it sounds good, and then really get it to the root, like fine tune the tempo. So the tempo is not super like important at the very beginning. Uh, you just need to get it in like ballpark for what you have in your mind. Um, again, just like the last one, I rendered it out and then I started with this and I, I kind of clipped it right before the start and did another fade in. So, uh, what does it sound like? My bad. Alright, so, yeah. And then I have it stop. I just 
thought it had a cool little like like power up sound or whatever, so I just left it that way. Um, these two songs are not made right back to back, so it's very rare that you'll see that I start, I do like the same shit in two songs, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's not that it's not that deep. So um, as far as the percussion, here's what I got. Yeah, op I did open hat and then a kick and I did the hi-hat here. So I actually went out of uh, order with this one. I did hi-hat first, but that was because I knew how I wanted it. It was mainly for the uh, velocities. I want to get the velocities right without the snare blowing out my fucking ears first. So I went with the snare first and it was just like on the quarter note. So it was... Boots in cats and boots in cats and then or whatever, you know. Um, I was using that for the what do you call the cats? Would that be cats? I don't fucking know. Um anyway, so the snare at this point again. That's what I did. Pretty monotone throughout the whole thing until right at the end of every eight bars. Um, and then the last thing, uh, not the last thing, but the last thing I did before the actual kick was, uh, I added in an open hat. Now the open hat to me would probably be the thing that like made this track what it is. Um, aside, I mean, aside from like, you know, everything in context, but, um, I got the open hat and I put some shit on it. I put an H delay or whatever you could do, right? You could do the same thing with the delay and just a couple, you know, things on there to, to make it sound kind of analog sounding oh and by what by the way the instrument i use is like an analog piano tremolo piano by um analog tri tremolo piano by omnisphere um anyway so the open hat because i i add the little delay on let me see if i can tell you what the settings were yeah i mean it was just uh, it was on ping pong at at a quarter note right so whenever you play one and so it just kind of fades off as it goes you know what i mean um, and I knew that I was going to want that so that it just had this, like it, it went in context well, and I'm just going to do solo the percussion up until now with that. So you can kind of hear it. See how it kind of just bounces in the background. And this is going from, you know, right ear, left ear between the two ears and shit. Um, anyway, and then the last thing, you know, like I said, I do the hi-hats to drive the song, the snare to keep time. Open how in this point at this point is just uh, taste and then so the kick I actually use uh, because that's the swagger of the song. Okay, so now we can actually rap over something like this. That's the whole thing. I don't think there's a way to say. Yeah. forget my songs but this was made eight months ago so can't be can't, can't be too mad so anyway that's it that's how i made the two songs you know what i'm saying um gotta go because i'm making uh doing my two shooting a music video after this i am going to be back next week uh obviously with another one i do have another music video to shoot next week but i'm gonna make sure that i get this scheduled in um also ebooks and stuff are gonna be coming out for i care all the other ones are already out um, and then, of course, the song is coming in on this Tuesday, but I'm not going to talk about that until that one happens. So anyway, until then, I appreciate y'all that all came in and stuff. I appreciate y'all, you know what I mean, coming in and supporting or whatever. Um, this is the first time that I've actually had anybody coming in here and stayed in here for the whole thing since I uh, taken taking that break in 2020. So I appreciate y'all and the love and all that. So, um, yeah, until next time, much love. I'm out of here. <laughs>